Hey guys, Mark here with another edition of Weaponized Truth. Um, I'm not sure how this video is going to go just yet. Um, I'll, I uh, don't particularly feel like being on camera today. Uh, so this may be very messy. Um, or this may end up being uh, like a radio cast. And I'm just going to talk. Um, there's quite a bit of things that have been going on. Uh, I probably will end up by the time this thing is done and uh, not end up getting um, to all the stories that I want to bring to you guys attention uh, and uh, but uh, I'm gonna try to get to most of them um, if you want more information about any of these things I highly advise uh, anybody out there uh, who comes and watches this uh, to go and Google each and every one of these stories and look at various different sources and um, make sure that you form your own opinions on what you think is going on with these things. Um, I'm not a journalist. Uh, I'm not a reporter and I don't make any money. I just want to uh, bring some uh, interesting um, thoughts um, and concerns to you guys about stuff that's going on and just want to bring your attention to some stories that I think are pretty crazy. Um, the first thing I want to talk about here is this Vault 7 thing. And um, I don't want to get any of my followers um, going nuts and getting mad at me and unsubscribing to me. Um, I don't want to be one of those people um, that turns um, everything into a conspiracy but I think there's something going on with this uh, BALP 7 WikiLeaks stuff uh, I think that uh, people need to talk about and uh, people in uh, conservative circles particularly um, I think they really need to take a hard look at and think about now I think for the most part for quite a while, especially after the emergence of Edward Snowden, um, uh, I think that what the uh, leaks that um, Edward Snowden gave and let the world know that America was spying um, on everybody, uh, I think it was important. I think that particular thing uh, that he did uh, was a great thing. Um, I think that some of the... Uh, criminal uh, activities uh, of the uh, the Democratic National Committee members particularly uh, Hillary Clinton and all her little cronies Obama etc I think WikiLeaks exposing some of this stuff is also important but I have to question the motives of these newest leaks and uh, this is the thing y'all uh, I think the most, I think uh, the biggest part of the reason why uh, politics um, has become such a polarizing issue, um, not only in America, but worldwide, um, is because of immigration. And uh, first of all, uh, nations... Uh, or I just think people in general, uh, no matter what country you're in or what type of uh, lifestyle or whatever that you're used to, uh, you don't want um, a big mass surge of immigrants from the Middle East coming in and basically taking over and changing society as you know it forever. Um, People have uh, certain, you know, certain places have certain um, pieces of, you know, cultural things in their lifestyle that is, you know, it's, it's part of who they are. And they don't want to have to sacrifice this. Um, they certainly don't want to sacrifice the religion for Islam. Uh, they certainly uh, do not want to be under Sharia law. And they most certainly... Uh, don't want to be uh, killed uh, in the name of a radical Islamic terrorism. And um, 
this is a you know this is a pretty uh, serious uh, concern that uh, people worldwide um, have have been very vocal about. And so I guess the the really um, the biggest part of this whole um, immigration thing is uh, people just want to be safe and they just want to live safely their normal lives um, as they always have and with this forced immigration invasion uh, that's you know in many places uh, if you haven't seen what's going on in Sweden or the Netherlands or Germany uh, in France I mean there's some really bad stuff going on. Mm -hmm. I mean, they're even building a wall around the Eiffel Tower. I mean, that's just, you know, several years ago, something that you um, never would have thought was possible. And this is the thing, y'all. This is the thing. I mean, obviously, there's um, certain pieces of information uh, about certain hacking tools, uh, um, in these leaks uh, that people became aware of that they may not have known before. And I get that. And I understand that, uh, well, you know, especially uh, Americans in particular, but I'm sure, you know, people worldwide, uh, you know, they want to have some uh, element of privacy um, when they get on any device connected to the internet. But let's be honest, uh, ever since Edward Snowden came out with these leaks about what's really going on with the NSA and the spying of everybody worldwide, uh, I would say at this point, um, we're all pretty well aware uh, of the uh, of the risk that comes with connecting uh, anything to the internet these days. Um, like one of the big things that everybody was talking about is how everybody seems shocked that their TVs are spying on them. But this is an old story. Um, Vizio and Samsung have come out and both made statements and made this information available to the public that your microphones and your uh, cameras and all that stuff and your TVs uh, can be hacked at any time. Uh, we had this thing happen a while back where it was PlayStation Network, I think it was Twitter, and a bunch of other things went down um, at the same time. And a lot of the big headlines were saying that how these sites got taken down by a toaster because they were using pings from appliances to overload these uh, servers. Right? So, I mean, we all know there's no such thing as privacy anymore. It's gone. Uh, it's been gone for a very long time. Um, and anybody who thinks otherwise is either living in a cave or is just naive or just terribly uninformed. Right? So I'm just saying, if, if we pretty much know 90% of the information that they're talking about in there, even if we don't know the uh, exact uh, complicit uh, details. What good does it actually do? I mean, obviously we've got some companies and they're going out and they're doing fixes uh, to fix some of this information. Um, but th this is what I come back to here is if this whole um, issue of politics becoming so polarizing and such an important topic worldwide, uh, it would seem to me um, that uh, safety is pretty much everybody's biggest concern. And now, obviously, you know, you don't want to sit there and just say, hey, uh, we need to sacrifice security uh, for safety, because obviously uh, that's not good either. But the simple fact is, is that pretty much everybody in the planet is hacking everybody. Let's not kid ourselves. And it seems like um, ever since this whole Vault 7 thing began, uh, that everybody seems to have uh, forgotten uh, about all these videos that people uh, were putting up uh, showing uh, all these cyber attacks coming from China and so on and so forth, right? 
everybody used to sit around and uh, watch all these websites show them where all these massive cyber attacks were coming from. And it's like Vault 7 comes out and everybody seems to have forgotten about that. Um, everybody seems to think that JFK was right and that we should uh, splinter the CIA into a million pieces. And I'm not saying he's wrong. But what I'm saying is this, is if everybody else in the world is spying on everybody, which they are, and if every other major country in the world has some form of the CIA, which they do, um, are we really safer uh, without them, without the CIA? Are we really safer by giving all of our government's hacking secrets to the world? Are, are we truly safer or did all we do is just give our enemies a big leg up on what we're doing? You see, and, 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 and then the reason why I bring this up, and, th and this is what I want you guys to understand, is when you talk about uh, politics, uh, and particularly in America, when you talk about Donald Trump, um, what are the two words you hear all the time? Deep state, right? Um, the deep state is forming a coup. Uh, the deep state wants to take out Trump. The deep state wants to take out uh, Pence. The deep state took out Flynn. The deep state wants to take out Bannon. The deep state wants to take out Sessions, right? And we're all very well aware that this is going on and that we do have um, a big uh, internal war uh, going on uh, in our intelligence agencies. And this is just a fact that, I, that I'd like everybody to consider. Because this is, this is something that's very uh, passionate uh, to me. Uh, this is the whole reason why I started my uh, making videos was because of Agenda 21, Agenda 2030, uh, whatever you want to call it. Um, and uh, seeing uh, actual documents, you know, for myself with my own eyes. Um, that the United Nations has a very uh, sophisticated plan uh, in place to depopulate 80 to 90 percent of the planet. Um, you can go watch uh, uh, any number of videos by Christiana Figueres, and uh, she is uh, a very vocal about wanting this to happen. So it's not like it's some big secret. Uh, it's not like it's some big conspiracy. Uh, it's not like Alex Jones. Uh, screaming about uh, black people or aliens on Saturday Night Live. This is actual real stuff. So the point is, <coughs> a lot of people have thought for a while now um, that Julian Assange has been compromised by the CIA. And uh, I have to say, uh, uh, for me, uh, I felt a little suspect about WikiLeaks since all this stuff went down uh, late last year. Um, and this is the thing. If there is a war in the deep state, and if there is a, a plan in place to take down America, because this is the thing, and this is, this is, the, this is the biggest problem that they're going to have with this Agenda 21, Agenda 2030 depopulation uh, agenda. Uh, the problem is, is that there's a, there's a big ass wall, uh, standing between the United Nations and making that happen. And that's America and that's Donald Trump. Uh, he's already talking about defunding the United Nations because they're worthless, which they are. There's some evil bastards. Uh, I just saw a video yesterday of a whistleblower talking about UN peacekeepers, uh, raping children, sexually abusing children all the time and uh, she was talking about how she went into the UN thinking she was going to change the world and thinking everybody uh, would know more that she, than she did and it turns out she was surrounded by a bunch of idiots and so I'm dragging this on a little bit but if they wanted to take down America which they're going to have to do to implement um, Agenda 21, Agenda 2030 uh, depopulating the planet. 
they're going to have to take down America. Now, if they can give all of our cyber secrets to our enemies via WikiLeaks, that'd be a hell of a good way to do it. Because if they release the other 99% of those documents, you can call it whatever you want. We already know what's going on. The only thing they're actually accomplishing is they're giving our vital information that's supposed to protect us and supposed to help us to our enemies. If they don't have access to this information, we're not going to be safer. And that's what this whole immigration thing goes back to is safety. We all want to live. We don't want to get blown up. We don't want to be under Sharia law. And I sure as hell don't think we're safer if all of our uh, nation's best uh, uh, kept secrets uh, when it comes to things uh, involving computers and the Internet and so on and so forth. If all our enemies know everything we're going to do, then every country on the planet has an advantage over us. We've already seen Barack Obama give billions and billions of dollars nukes to Iran who continue to shout death to America in the streets. And I have to ask you, is this really any different? We're giving weapons to our enemies. Maybe they're information weapons, but sometimes information is the most powerful asset mm -hmm. on the planet. So this concerns me a great deal. And it, it should concern all of you guys um, a great deal. And I thought I was going to get into a bunch of stories, but I've ended up going on uh, about this for a while. So I'll just leave it at this. I'll make a separate video about some of the stories that I wanted to get into, but I think this is an important aspect of what's going on with Vault 7. And I think it's important for everybody and our community to consider that this could very well be uh, another act of the deep state trying to continue the takedown of America to uh, bring us under Sharia law so they can fully implement Agenda 2030. Leave me your thoughts. Y'all take care.